barely see. We gonna put glasses on today because a muck can't see. Yes. What is up guys, it's your boy Brandon Grove, self-taught designer, coming at you. So today, like I said in my IG, and if you're not following my IG, hit it in the description. Today we're gonna talk about why you should talk about money up front as a designer. Let's go. Hey. What is up guys, it is your boy, Brandon Groves, coming at you. Focus, focus, all right, there we go. Coming at you after having protein shit coming. Look at this, whoa, that's just <laughs> design juice. There is a problem that I have seen and I've been asked about and it's money. How do you deal with asking for money? When do you bring it up in the conversation with the client? Because I feel like this really screws people up, especially freelancers or even if you're trying to run a business. When do you bring up money? And a lot of, I feel like a lot of people that I've talked either through Instagram or, by the way, before we get started, this is gonna be some hot shit. So comment, like, subscribe before we get started because I can already tell you, you about to learn something. So, without saying, I'm gonna I'm I'm pull this sweat off my brow, flick it onto the subscribe button, now click it. When to bring this up in the conversation with the client. So let's roll back. The Brandon of two, three years ago would be that guy that brings up, you know, talks to the client, say, oh, that's a really cool project, and then we do all this work up front, and then you present to the client the work that you've thought about and what you're gonna do. You've brought up the proposal and all the numbers, whatever, put that together, and then when you show the client, they're like, oh, never mind, I don't wanna do it. And then you just spent all this time creating the proposal, coming up with your numbers, you know, just all this up from work, and you've gotten nothing from it. What I know now is to bring up money first. Anytime you start a relationship, you have to, you know, create rapport with the person or whoever you're dealing with. It's just like friendships or dating. Think long term with the people that you work with. What I like to do now is I listen, first call, this is the problem, this is the problem. I'm like, okay, okay, taking notes. And then once I understand the, their their problem on the same call, you know, projects like these, what is the project that you out the amount of budget you allocate to these type of projects. And then there I can gauge whether or not this is somebody I would like to work with or once from the budget I can see, you know, if we're good to work with one another. If they're on the same page about price and, you know, I'm the person that does that work of that quality for that price. And of course if, let's say they're below budget of the type of work that I deal with, then, you know, I kindly say, well, you know, for the companies and clients I work with, my budgets um, start at this rate. And then they get an understanding of like where I am in terms of value for my projects. And then I just kindly say, I do have, and then I give them recommendations. I don't just cut them off. It's always about giving value. So I know a couple people, of course, in the industry. And I just say, you know, there's so-and-so and so-and-so that do this type of work. And they're within your budget. Let me get you in touch with them. And I just leave it at that. You've done two things here. One, you've saved your time that, and their time. And you've also given them an actual answer to the problem still. So it's still relationship building. It's not just like, yes, no, it's not cold. Don't think of money as cold. Always think about, you know, when you're dealing with people, because this is what this is. It's always about building a relationship and me giving a answer to the problem, giving them you know, the person they can work with, work with within their budget. That's awesome, I help direct them. And that's really what you want to think about. It's just giving value at the end of the day. Takeaways, understand, the project then bring money up front ask them what for these type of projects what is your budget then they'll give you an answer and then you can relay back with okay that's within the type of range that the projects that my company or I deal with and if not you just kindly say okay projects in particular that we work on are between this range and this range then you say well I do know Bobby Jill and Max and Max does exactly what you're looking for. Let me put you in touch with them. You help them out, give them a connect. And then when they do have something that is in your price range, they'll remember the time that you helped them out. And then they'll be like, yo, Brandon, he helped, out, helped us out with this one time and I loved his work. He was the first guy I went to when I had this project. This time we have the, the right budget for the type of projects he takes. Let's go to him. And that's how you get future work. But I just wanted to bring this to your, your guys' attention. I've been talking to you, a lot of guys on Instagram. And by the way, 
Again, if you aren't hitting me up on Instagram, that is where the most of my uh, like micro interaction engagement is with you guys. I love talking to you in the in the DMs uh, on the daily. So guys, don't forget comment, like, subscribe, and meet me back here tomorrow to look at me in my sexiness, in my black shirt, and awesomeness. And yes. <laughs>